Delivering quality education. Expanding access to learning. The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Deaf and TV Banana. Hello, senior high school learners. Welcome to this dolly amazing episode of Lantau Compre. Today, we will explore the world of physical science, specifically the polarity of a molecule. Are you excited as I am? What are you waiting for? Grab now your pen, paper, and self-learning module, and let's start the fun! This lesson is hinged on the following objectives. Let's see how well you perform in your pre-test. This is to gauge your previous knowledge about today's lesson. You will be given 10 seconds only to pick the letter which carries the best answer to each question. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1. A water molecule has the chemical formula of H2O. This means that the water molecule is made up of A. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom B. Two oxygen atoms and one hydrogen atom C. Two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms D. Two molecules of water The correct answer is letter A, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Number two, the water molecule is a polar molecule. A water molecule is polar because A, the electrons are shared equally. B, oxygen has a stronger attraction for electrons than hydrogen. C, it is very cold. D, Hydrogen atoms have a stronger attraction for electrons than oxygen. You're right! It's letter B. Oxygen has a stronger attraction for electrons than hydrogen. Number 3. What happens when most of the hydrogen in the core is fused into helium in the stellar core. A. Hydrogen fusion stops and the pressure in the core decreases. B. Hydrogen fusion continues and the pressure in the core increases. C. Gravity squeezes the star until helium and hydrogen burning occur. D. Nuclear energy increases until carbon and helium burning occur. Very well, it's letter B. Hydrogen fusion continues and the pressure in the core increases. Number 4. The atoms in a water molecule are held together by covalent bonds. This means that the bonded atoms A. Lose protons B. Lose electrons C. Share electrons D. Switch neutrons Good job! It's letter C. Share electrons. Number 5. 
A paper clip can stay on the surface of a sample of water because of water's strong surface tension. Water surface tension is mostly a result of A. Water's temperature B. The motion of water molecules C. The attraction of water molecules D. The impurities in the water Cheerio! It's letter C! You did great in the pretest. The next phase of the lesson gets more interesting. But before that, let us have a simple recall on our past discussion. Last time, you heard a couple of times the saying, Likes dissolves likes, referring to the solubility of one substance in another. Polar materials tend to be more attracted to and are more soluble in polar solvents. However, non-polar materials tend to be attracted to and are more soluble in non-polar materials. The succeeding task will give you opportunities to further your understanding about polar and non-polar materials. Have you heard of the word polar? How about non-polar? When things are different at each end, we call them polar. If they are the same, we call them non-polar. Many physical properties of matter are the result of the shape and polarity of molecules. Water, for example, has unusual properties that can only be explained by the shape of its molecule and the distribution of charge on the molecule. Molecules can be grouped as polar or non-polar molecules. Activity 1 on page 4 of your module will help you unlock important vocabulary of this lesson. I believe you'll do great. Activity 2 on page 5 will shed light on the differences between polar and non-polar molecules through the table of stereochemistry of some common molecules. Please study very well the table and answer the activity that follows. Are you ready for the simple activity? Very well. Tell whether the property of molecule is polar or non-polar. Shall we start? Number 1. Asymmetrical. Correct. It's polar. Number 2. Has electrical poles. Correct, it's polar. Number three, no dipole moment. You're right, it's non-polar. Number four, does not have electrical poles. You're right, it's non-polar. Number five, one end has positive charge, while the other end has negative charge. Correct! It's polar! Number 6. Oil. You're right! It's non-polar. Number 7. All of the sides around the central atom are identical bonded to the same element with no unshared pairs of electrons. You're right! It's non-polar! Kudos to your amazing performance! For the next activity, you will learn how to predict molecular polarity through the Lewis electron dot structure, LEDS. 
A Lewis electron dot structure is a very simple representation of the valence shell electrons in a molecule. It is used to show how the electrons are arranged around individual atoms in a molecule. Electrons are shown as dots or for bonding electrons as a line between the two atoms. Your next task is to study the Lewis structure of molecules. Given the molecule structure, tell whether it's polar or nonpolar. Please open now your module on page 6. You must have known by now whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar. The next activity may be a bit challenging but it's worth trying. Here are the instructions. Complete the table by naming the molecule, giving the number of its valence electrons, drawing the Lewis dot structure, and finally, identifying whether it's polar or nonpolar. Let's begin! Let's not waste time and check your answers right away. You never failed me with your diligence. Good job, class! In the next activity, you need a periodic table of electronegativity to determine polar or nonpolar molecule. This time, we will talk about electronegativity value. What is it? An element's ability to attract electrons is called its electronegativity. Atoms that are very electronegative will try to take all the electrons near them, while atoms that are not electronegative will give up their electrons easily. Please fill in the table with the electronegativity values for the atoms provided. After answering, please check the answers on the answer key section of your module. Don't forget to answer the guide questions, okay? The next activities will help you ace the test later. They are equally important with the previous task. First, identify each bond as either polar or nonpolar by electronegativity in the Activity 6 on page 9. Second, predict whether the bond between the following pairs of elements 
will be ionic, polar, or non-polar in Activity 7 on page 10. Next, determine if the molecule is polar or non-polar based on electronegativity in Activity 8 on page 10. Then, make a network tree concept map of chemical bonding. Ionic, covalent, ions, positive ions, negative ions, molecules, polar, nonpolar, symmetry, and asymmetry in Activity 9 on page 11. Finally, answer the following questions in Activity 10 on page 11. We're almost done, class! Congratulations for reaching this far! I am so proud of you! For the culminating task, please pay close attention to the post test on page 12. And to cement your understanding on our lesson, please answer truthfully the short response question in Let Us Enhance on page 14 and Let Us Reflect on page 15. I promise you these activities are your sure fire to success. Another episode of Lantau Compre has ended. Thank you so much for joining me in this dally amazing episode of Lantau Compre. Before we part ways, let me share this quote. Everything in this universe has a polar opposite. In every failure, lies a success. Bye-bye!